Come on in, guys. Make sure you put your seatbelts on. Can you take us to the Chick-fil-A on 377, please? Sure, but first, welcome to the registration cab. What? No, no way, no way. While we'll need to sit down and fill out your credit analysis sheet in detail later, let's start off with a few questions to see if you know your basics. You must answer questions correctly to keep playing. If you get three X's, I'll kick you out right here. Oh, we're fine. No, no, yeah, it's, we it's got cold this, guys. outside. We got this. Good. You guys ready to get started? Yeah. yeah. yeah All right, let's it. go. Ready? Okay, first question. Let's start off with an easy one. How many credits do you need to graduate? 26. 26. Come on. All right, well done, well done. But how many credits can you earn each year towards that goal? Well, duh, there's, what, eight periods, so obviously eight credits is what you need. Dude, you don't get a credit for lunch. You only get seven credits. Wait. Okay, so let's continue with how many credits you need to be promoted to the next grade level. How many credits do you need each year in order to become a sophomore, a junior, and a senior? Okay, um... You don't, so like you don't six have to be a sophomore. Six, six to be a and sophomore. Then, and then you double like, to be a junior. Twelve to be a junior. But then it's like 18 or 19 for like... Well, wait, you have more stuff as a senior. So, eight, so it might be 19. I don't know. Um, wait, what is it? Can, can we do a shout out? You know, you have two options. You have a mobile or a street. Which one would you like to use? Street. Mobile. Street. Mobile. Mobile. I have Mr. Chanel's number right here. Yeah, they hang. Yeah. She has his number. Yeah, okay. Um, hold on, let me call him really quick. This is Mr. Tunnell, can I help you? Uh, M Mr. Tunnell? Hi, hi, uh, this is Cooper London's uh, m mom. Yeah, I, I have a question. How many credits do you need to be a senior? Uh, that's easy, there's 19 in order to be a senior. Ni 19. Um, can you tell me how you got this number, please? That's not important. All right, bye. <laughs> um, 19. Are you sure the principal's correct? Yes. Yes! All right, guys, yeah! We got, we got this. Okay, time for one last question. This will be a video bonus question. Several questions must be answered correctly for you to be successful. Let's look at the transcript. Okay, first look at how many credits this student has. Well, wait. The state's different. The state's different than the total. Which which one is it? The, the state's the state one is the one that counts it. That's right. The local credits don't count. It's the state credits that they look at. Oh. Uh, is it the state credits? Very good. State credits are the only ones to look at when discussing credits at graduation. Next question. Notice that this student has a total of four passing grades listed. However, only two of the grades have credits assigned to them. Why is that? The, uh, it's it's a credit Those, denial. Oh, that's the little stars beside them? Yeah, the, the asterisks. So, so like if they were absent, they then... They were absent too much. They ah, absent. now they have to go to Saturday school. Saturday school, uh, that's so Credit nice. denial. Way to go, guys. Yes. Woo! We awesome, have some guys. of the best kids in Keller ISD. You've answered enough questions correctly to make it to your final destination. Woo! Chick-fil-A! Chick yeah. yeah. Chicken sandwiches! Uh, you said Chick-fil-A! Welcome to Chicken Express. Come on in. <laughs> Man, those Keller ISD kids are so smart. Well, they did really, really, really good. Hey, look, there's some more kids. I hope they're as savvy as the first group. Uh, we need to go to um, Central. Welcome to the registration cab. All right, oh let's see how well you're prepared to sign up for your classes for next year. You guys ready? Yeah. All yes. right, let's get started. Okay. Let's get started with the graduation requirements. All students in the state of Texas are on what they refer to as the four by four graduation plan. How does this translate in what students need in terms of their core classes to graduate? Oh, um. Well, the four is the number of credits in each core area. Uh, four English, right. 
for math, mm -hmm. for science, and for social studies. Excellent, excellent. Yay, you're so great, girl. You're the best. Oh, the you're best. You're the best. But remember, you can take those classes in regular, pre-AP, and AP. So many choices. While we're stuck here at this red light, let's complete our red light challenge. We might be here for a while, so this will be a multi-level question. All must be answered correctly. Okay, let's do this. The challenge is, everyone should know the correct order of your courses. Do you? Put each course in the correct order. Let's start with a very easy one, English. English, one, two, three, four. Well done, very well done. Our next course is science. Biology is for freshmen, right. so that one is first, mm -hmm. but what is, what is next? Chemistry? Yeah. Has to be next. Uh -huh. But what about AP Bio? No, 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 that's, that's an elective. Um, let's see, uh, junior year... Oh, oh, I know. Um, junior year you take physics, because you don't want to take it as a senior, and then your senior year you get another approved science elective, like aquatic science or astronomy or, um, let's see, forensic science. Great job. <laughs> All right, stop it. <laughs> You're the best. So I love now it. they're going to get a little bit more difficult. Let's go to social studies. Oh, hmm. OK, ninth grade is easy. Right. World Geo. <laughs> does US come before or after <sighs> Definitely after. No, after. No, it's before. <laughs> Burn out. What? Oh, too bad, guys. Well, I didn't even answer the question. U.S. history is for juniors. The correct order for social studies is world geography, world history, then U.S. history. As seniors, students can take a half credit of government, and they can take a half credit of economics to finish out. Yeah, whatever. I'm not even going to get math right, so just don't even ask us about math, okay? So. Okay, okay, yes. Math is the most challenging because it has the most options. You all start with Algebra 1, then go to Geometry. After Geometry, this is where it gets very tricky. You have to choose either Math Models or Algebra 2 based on how well you performed in math. You choose wisely. After Algebra 2, then you have to move forward, not backwards. You will have to take a fourth approved math once you complete Algebra 2. Okay, moving on. Let's see if you can redeem yourselves after that fiasco. Let's talk about foreign language. All students must complete at least two years of the same foreign language, unless you want to graduate on the Distinguished Academic Achievement Program, in which you have to take three years. However, not all campuses have the same opportunities. See if you can tell me which three foreign languages are offered at all five of our high school campuses. Okay, um, ASL, right? Yeah? No, I think just, just thought, no, dude, totally simple. Okay, okay, um, Latin, Latin, right? Um, uh, I think Latin is I don't know. Uh, I have no idea. Can we use a shout out? Yeah. Yes, you actually have two options, street or mobile. Street! Oh. Uh, yeah, sure. Do you know which foreign language is in all five campuses? I do. Spanish, French, and German. Thank you! De nada! Awesome! Bye! Wow. Jeez. Kids. Very good recovery after that last one. Oh, all right. Dolphin! Oh my gosh. Okay, all right, next one. there are multiple ways to earn credit in PE, and everyone has to have at least one credit. There are eight different courses that can count for PE credit. Can you name at least five? PE! Oh, yes, that's five! We so got this, we're awesome. We got this. Um, football? Yeah, um, oh, oh, what's that class where um, they do fishing? 
of Adventures in Outdoors? Yeah, yeah, that one. And, um, oh, okay. And Partners in PE, even though you have to fill out an application at the end of class. And, uh, what should we use for our last? Um, okay. Dance! What? Yep, too bad. An easy mistake to make. Dance used to count, but not anymore. The ones you missed were PE substitutions. Assigned for things like the first year of cheer, drill team, or ROTC. Band still gets one in the fall in level one and two of the class as well. Next question. You will need a full credit of fine arts to graduate. What are the three options for fine arts for credit? Art, uh, dance, and uh... Sorry guys, this brings your ride to an end. No! A half credit of speech is required for graduation, but it does not count as fine art. Thanks for playing. You, know, I still you can get out now. Okay, let's go. My best friend. My best friend What is this? Hello scholars, how are you? Fantastic. Look at your registration form. Now look at me. This is the agriculture cluster. Sadly, you do not look like me. That's because you picked your CTE classes by throwing darts at your registration form. Look at you. Now look at me. If you are interested, this cluster is Arts AV. Where are you? You're interested in becoming a businessman? You've taken a business, marketing, finance, or infotech course. Close your eyes. Now open your eyes. This is where you can get education and training courses, or human services. Look at the whiteboard in the lab. This is the health science cluster. Look again. This is where you might find yourself if you take a class in the hospitality and tourism cluster. Now look down, back at me. I'm recruiting for the law public safety CTE cluster. Look now, I'm an aerospace engineer. You can get started by taking a class in the science, technology, and engineering cluster. Look down, now back up. If you're interested, this is the Transportation, Distribution, and Logistics cluster. Anything is possible when you put your time into picking your CTE classes. I'm in a shopping cart. Sure, but first, welcome to the registration cab. <laughs> our first challenge of the day is our prerequisites. A prereq is a class you must take before you move on in the next class in that strand. Let's see how much you know. Let's start with culinary arts. Oh, I love food. Oh, yeah, me, me too. too. There are two prerequisites for culinary arts. One of them is Principles of Human Services. What is the other one? It's aviation. Did they even offer that here? I, I think so. No, I think one of my friends took nutrition and wellness before she took culinary arts, so it has to be nutrition and wellness. Very well done. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Too many times students forget to look at the course guide to find out what course they need to take in order to move to the next course. Which leads me to the next question. Where can I find the course descriptions? Isn't it the counselor's office? Mm, I thought it was paperwork though. No, 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 they put it all on the website now. So they got rid of all the paperwork. Oh. Just go to the district website and you can do it all there. Awesome. Excellent, yes! yes. Awesome. Got it. So what now? Is it the paperwork that determines whether or not we graduate? I only have to get 26 credits, right? Exactly. That's what we'll be talking about next. There are two state assessments that are also required to graduate. What are they? Um, oh, one of them is the end of course exams. But isn't it the tax? Mm, I thought they got rid of tax, though. That's right. Next year's seniors will be the only people who are using tax. So until then, everyone's using EOC. Okay. So our final answer. Do a satisfactory performance on your tax and EOCs in order to graduate. Yes. 
Yeah. 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 All right. Our next question is how do we register for our classes? Oh, I know this one. We turn our registration forms into the counseling office. Oh, really? John? Yeah. No, we're going to do the online registration again. All course requests must be made online in the Home Access Center. Remember that link that showed up in your unofficial transcript last year? Your schedule? Your attendance from last year? We're using that one again. We are also using the same forms as last year, and one of the most important sections is the subject of our next question. The question is, what happens if you don't add alternates to your request on the website? Oh, I know, this happened to me. If you don't have any alternates and there's, you can't take the class that you want, then the counselors have to choose it for you. And I'm still in that class till this day and I hate it. I'll never make that mistake again. Absolutely. You need to make sure you have a backup plan. Sometimes detours are necessary. Man, this milkshake is good. Yeah, they make good milkshakes. Mine's chocolate. I got banana and chocolate. Yeah, well, I filled out my registration form. Did you do yours? No, I'm still thinking about it. What'd you sign up for? My core classes, you know, the regular stuff. And for fun, I signed up for health. Didn't you already take health? Yeah, it was fun. But didn't you already pass it? Yeah, I made like a 95. I think that milkshake's giving you a brain freeze. You can't get credit for the same class twice. Now, January 7th will be the opening of the Home Access Center and it will close on March the 1st. Will you be able to go online and change your course request after this date? No, I learned this last year. You have to turn in a add drop form to the counseling office with parent signatures, but they do give you till the last day of school to do it, so that's always good. You are absolutely right. Yes! yes. Oh my gosh! Oh, I think I see Sonic, yeah, it's right over oh, there. there you guys, come yes. on. All right, here's our last question. Where can I find all of this information, just in case if I forgot something? Do, do either of you know this one? I don't think so. No? Do, um, uh, do we have a shout out left? Yes, you actually have two. You have a mobile or you have a street. Let's okay. do a mobile, you guys. Mm -hmm. No, no, street. Street, street. Yeah. Okay, fine. Okay, right. how about this guy right here? Hey, what's up? Where should I go find out everything about registration next year? Oh, that's an easy one. Everything in Keller is on one, one website or another. I'd check your school website first, then check with your counselor, and then maybe check with the di district website and see if you can find something there. All right, thank you. Final answer, district website. Congratulations. Yay! Yeah, we got it. We made it. All right, hey, we're right here. You have now completed your registration for 2013-2014. Remember, you can double check all of your requests on the Home Access Center link on your school's website. Now, can you get me something from Sonic? Yeah, yeah sure. No problem.